this morning, um, I'm hoping to work on another one of these non-starter pieces of material. And um, I asked a friend of mine, um, <clears throat> you know, you've got some rubbish you can let me have to work on? Well, let's go and see what he gave me. Okay, it's just out the front here. Ta -da! I asked for rubbish. I've not been disappointed. He's given me rubbish. Let's get this thing up. Up, 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 and away. Oh, hey. Oh, my goodness. The tree, the soil level is down here. So <clears throat> we're going to have to somehow get the tree out of here. Um, it's a privet. And, um, yeah, work, a bit, work on it outside of the pot. Okay, so we'll try that out anyway, see how it goes. Oh, boy, what a load of rubbish this is. God knows what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> you know something? Out of the many hundreds, if not thousands, of trees I've worked on over the last 50 years, I've only once ever been beaten and had to say no. But I think, you know, today this might be number two. We'll find out. So here we have this monstrous thing. And obviously there's a load of low-down suckers and things that I'm going to have to cut out. Let's just get rid of all these weeds first of all. So we get a better idea of what we've got here. Oh, God, this is not going to be it. This is rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Right, first things first. Let me get my branch side cutters. All of this kind of stuff has got to come out. It's not going to serve any useful purpose in the design, so let's chop it all out. One. Oh, quite high work. It's all so rotten. Look at this. Look at this. Rubbish. Oh my god. Oh jeez. I'm probably completely wasting my time here because I doubt if I'm going to get anything out of this. But until I've cut all of these silly little sucker type things out, um, I can't really see whether there's anything left in the upper reaches of the tree. Such fun. This isn't going to do my <coughs> credibility rating any good. You see this kind of thing? Look at it. There's absolutely nothing on any of these. So none of them are usable. There is one good thing about um, privet, which is, is, is which incidentally is what this species is, and that is that they do bounce back quite a lot. Um, you know, they'll pop buds here, there, and everywhere, so they can take they can take a heck of a thrashing. Wow. 
Let's take this one out here. One there. That's most of the lower stuff. There's a bash a bit more of this. It's not good to anybody. Trouble is, I've got this blooming arthritis in these fingers, and I can't really use these fingers anymore. And that's for this one. But look at this. Watch this. This is great fun. See that? I can't bend this finger now because I've torn a ligament. Oh, dear me. This aging thing ain't much fun. There we go. Oh, God. Look, this is another one of these wobbly things. But at least there are live roots coming up here. It's quite a nice little root spread thing going on there. So we might be able to do something with, it, with this, you see. See all this, how loose this is? But it's well anchored by these roots. That's no use, that's no use. That big straight branch. Can't do anything with that. Right, let's get short of it. Um, right. Now, I'll just tidy these up a little bit. I've got another tool for this. These wind cutters. They're nice and concave, so they give a nice concave cut. You can get right in there. Boom. See that? Okay, now this big piece here, this great stump of you know, you see, yeah. this thing here is well and truly useless, so I'm going to have to try to break that up somehow. Oh golly, I think I've got another tool somewhere, God knows where. Um, let's see. Interesting. I don't think I've ever worked on anything like this before. I don't think I want to again either. Right, what have we got here now? We've got this horrible straight trunk here with a bit of live stuff up the top there, which isn't any use to anybody. Um, oh my god. I think it's going to have to go. This big piece, which means we'll only have this and this left. It's quite interesting. Oh, looking at it from this side, it doesn't look quite so horrible. 
And you see from this side, you've got this great monstrous straight trunk going up here with a natural sherry. Um, let's break this up if I can. Uh, privet wood is notoriously hard. No, I can't do that. So I'm going to have to decide. Which side I want to use as my front. As I said earlier, now that we've exposed, we'll cut all this stuff out of here, light can get in, you will get budding back um, on these, these branches, which at this moment are very, very stiff. But hopefully, with the budding back over the period of the next year or two, um, we might have slightly more workable branches to be able to create some kind of foliage clouds. But at the moment, it's pretty horrendous. Phew. Right, now, this sort of thing here, we've got some branches that are going out that way, and then this horrible thing that's coming back, so we don't want it, so get a shot of it, that's gone, right, now. <clears throat> Yeah, I could. It, <clears throat> I've got to decide. This has got different elements. You know, and I could bring this round and I could have this right and make it all look a little bit like a windswept thing. Because if you examine this closely, these little branches are quite workable. All right. Whereas if I was to turn this around, We've got this thing here, which is very stiff, but these branches here are pretty ugly. <clears throat> now, before we carry on, I just want to clean up a little bit here. So I've got my... Sorted. Right. Now, having tidied it up a bit and having taken out quite a lot of the redundant foliage um, branches, I can get a better idea of what we've got here. And if you have a look, you can see there's this long straight trunk um, running across here. which is, you know, which has a direction. This thing could come and be brought round. And if we're now talking styles, 
is a possibility that we could make this into what's known as a windswept style. Some of this stuff at the back would have to go. That's desperately, desperately um, straight and unbendable and boring. On the other hand, when I step back and look at the tree from a different view, you know, one, it is possible that I could work a complete up crown, leave all of this naked so you can see through, but have an, an upper canopy. There's not much I could do about this side, although this is really quite interesting, this little lot. So I think and this this thing coming around here as well is quite helpful in design if I was to do the windswept. I think that's what I will go for, the windswept style. Um yeah. It's whatever we do, all we're going to be able to do in this this little exercise is to initiate the beginnings of of, of a bonsai design. Um, <clears throat> it'll take two or three years to build up the um, yeah. It'll take about two or three years to build up the twigginess in the design. So the other thing, of course, about windswept. You know, I can be a little bit more Spartan um, with the foliage because the wind would have killed it. But you can see if I do go for a windswept design, this is all going this way. That's going that way. So that's got to come out. So now we have we reach the point where we have to take a serious decision. If I'm going to stick with the windswept design, then that's got to go. If I'm not, can you see how this comes up, up, and down there? If I go for the upper canopy thing, that becomes an important contributing trunk. But no, we'll go for the windswept. So that's got to go. Do it. Right. Now you see here in the back, where does this come? Right. Well, I can see now straight away that this is no good. So that can go. Now we've got this double thing here. Do I keep both? This is awful. So it's got to go. Now. Oh. Quite bendable. This in there. This hasn't got very much on it, so I'm going to take this one off and keep that one there. So, what I say, I'm going to take this one off. And keep that one. Now, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Now, looking up here, we've got this. This is a nice little crown. I can do things here. I don't need this. I don't need that. Right. This is a bit, this one here is a bit low. 
No. I'll take it out. I'll take this one out as well. I'll take it out. You see this little buds, tiny, tiny little buds and things. I'll just put it there. Okay. So this one we're going to bring around here. All right. Now that's obviously too stiff. And you see here we've got, we're already beginning to get a relationship between the levels. So I'm going to take this one out here. Da -da. And now we don't need this, do we? Don't need that. I don't need this either. So we'll take that out. And that's no use to us either. Okay. All of these things here really should be covered um, with a protecting dunge. What the the description? So I've got some kianal here, this Japanese stuff. Which we'll put on but it's sticky and it's 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 messy so i won't do that until a bit later um so let's just see what's happening here in there this come on I leave this little fairy hole it's a little bit more interesting the same here. Get some of this. Oh, God, there's cobwebs in here. There's really nasty cobwebs in here. They're really hard. Some of this rotten wood is seriously rotten. What I what I will do at some later point is once it's all done, is to paint all of this rotten wood with um. One of the Ron um, Ron Seal Ron Seal um, wood preservers wood sealers. Let's get rid of this natural stuff. Okay. Yeah. All this surface root. God knows what's going to happen to all of that. Right. I think this is um, vacuum cleaner time again. Okay, now folks, I'm going to put a bit of wire on. And as I have said before, on some of the other designs that I've worked on, um, which require wiring, I'll just put the wire on one or two pieces. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll have a break. And um, I'll carry on wiring, but we don't need to film it all. And then later, when it's done, we can tweak some of the wide branches, okay? So, first of all, I, I like to feel the tension in the branches to see what sort of gauge of wire I'm going to need. It's not too bad, actually, that. So,
Which rules are we looking at? This one here? Yeah, we'll do this one first. Okay. Now for the fun bit. Trying to get an anchor. That'll do for the time being. I've got my little wire cutter. I oh, will cut this bit. And as always, practice cut it so that it's pointing upwards. Always have the final bit of wire pointing upwards. That way, you can be in control. Of the end of the branch. Okay, so that's that main branch. I'm going to wire this one now. I just put some wire on it and use a similar gauge wire. Which gauge is that and why have you chosen this? This, I think, is two, two and a half mil. Yeah. I, it's the question of feeling. You know, I can feel the um, the tensility, as it were, if there's such a word. Okay, so I'll put that around there. And around there. That gives a good anchor. We'll tidy up that last bit. <clears throat> that last bit I'll come back here and there. There. Now I'll just cut that off here. So what I'm going to do now is just bend this around a bit because <clears throat> you see at, at the moment we've got, if we take this as our front, our preferred viewing side, take this as our front because it's, it's quite interesting. There's a nice good solid mass there. Um, this provides an interesting back branch. Remember, once you've established the back, The front is on the other side. Simple. So, although having, you know, there's a lot of interest here as well. But this is the problem. So I'm going to work it so that some of the foliage will break th across, probably from this branch. So I'm going to just try and twist this around to bring it more... You see, I'm bouncing. Right, okay. Okay. And now, let's have a look here, see what we need and what we don't. I don't need that branch. Um, I don't need that that Whew. It's so fiddly going in between these leaves. There we go. Needs must. Oh. 
Slow process firing, but it's got to be done. Okay, now that's all of that, all of that. Let's do this one now. Well, all of the wiring is finished, it's now time to. Have a little play and see whether we can make sense of this funny little thing. Right, so where do we begin? This one here. This is sticking out too far, so I have to bring it back closer to related to that one. Now, I can't do this with this wire. It's not going to be strong enough or good enough. So, let me get my <clears throat> plasterer's tape. The stuff that they use to join plaster boards together and where's my scissors 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 here we go right so I wish this thing wouldn't keep turning away from me let's have a sponge no, stop it moving right here we go so I'll just put some of this around here to protect it and then I'm going to strap it across with a tourniquet. So we'll just cut a little bit of this, put that to the side. I'm going to turn this across to there. Okay. So I'll just put this around here. Good stuff, this. I also use it sometimes to put across drainage holes. Right, that would give me a little protection on the bark. And I will a little bit of wire now. <coughs> a little bit of this wire will do. <coughs> All this wire. I'm going to take this around here to this here. Push that across, twist it, and then if I get my ginning pliers, put that on. That should be okay. I'll just Cut this off now. All right, get that done just to tidy it up. All right, and then I'll put a tourniquet thing in there. So we need a bit of the thicker wire. I'll just put this in here. And what this does, it enables me to go on twisting time to time. Now you see this is more or less parallel so that'll do it's relating far better than it did just now okay <clears throat> right so i'll put this just here for the time being let's see what we're going to do with these branches yes i can come down and remember windswept is always very understated you know a little bit stiff so i'll just bring it down a bit Take this down and around there. Okay. And if things are playing ball, all right. This one here now. I always like to take them up a bit initially and then I'll bring it down. Okay. <clears throat> and then up. Around there, keeping you know, there's always a temptation to do all this 
fancy zigzagging um, of the branches don't don't okay I'll just bend that up there nice little twist in there and I'll just bend that down there bring that around a bit more there we are getting some nice shapes nice movement on that right I think what I'm going to do now is see that I can make sense with this one so I'm going to again you see it's sticking out in this direction and the general flow is in that direction <clears throat> when I do these sort of rather more natural styles of bonsai in this case windswept you know I think very um, I, I give a lot of thought and attention to the elements, to the wind, exactly what would actually be happening if the wind was blowing in this direction. You wouldn't get a branch coming out like that. So we're going to have to twist it around somehow. I'm not sure how I can. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And this wire... Mm -hmm. a bit right, let me try tweaking it with a different sort of technique. This is my little tweaker. So we tweak it there a bit. Tweak it there. You better control if you do that. Okay. I'm taking it back further because I know it's going to spring back again. Okay, that that will do, I think. Um, this branch was okay. So now we will play. See the movement. This is always grow up in the first instance. Right. So we've had a play. Got that more or less as I want it. Um, now I'm going to just work these. You see, I've got a little bit of flow there. And then there's that. And then this one here. That one there. And I'll just raise this a little. Whoa, this blaring thing is so annoying. Right. Take that up a little bit more. Okay, and down. See, <clears throat> although the tree is windswept, it's always trying to grow up. And then the wind bashes it down again. And up and down. Here again. And around. And these are clashing. So I'll take that up that little bit more. This one. Now the same over here. That's coming up nicely. That's coming around. Put that there, Turn that down, twist there, right, get this back up here, that one's okay, bring this up, around, and that's not too bad, but it's not quite right, let's bring this uh, on, that's a bit stiff there, okay, so there, and you are, Bring this back in, into line, into line. Right, that's okay. So the tonic is done there. So now I'm going to start on this chappy over here. All right, so we'll take him out there again. He's going up, up, and around. <coughs> Notice I use. So many different things. These things are supporting this little bit at the back. This one's pushing down. This one's forming a, 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 an anvil. I've got my fingers twisted around there. The whole hand is working for me. That's working up nicely. And then it has to come around there. And then these ones. This one. And that one. That's not bad. That's going to go up a little bit more. Up there, and then that can come down. And there. Up 
right and then there's this little chubby here and around there oh i didn't worry that that one escaped so too late to mess with it i'll just take it off there all right so that's that and now we'll take this one up, up, and around, <clears throat> down there. This goes up, there. This one goes up, around there. And I haven't cut that off. There. Now I'm just going to stand back for a moment to see what I've done and whether they are all working as they should be. There's this one here still that needs sorting. Now, if you can see, this grows straight out, but the other's going up. So what I'm going to do is push it up a bit. Mm. Put that up. And then we can start thinking about taking it down a bit, down a bit, up and down, a little bit more than that, up, up, and down, oh, that's a bit sharp, okay, now I must keep coming back to the correct, this goes up and down, Remember, the reason why I'm doing this up and down thing is because the plants are always wanting to grow up. But then the elements, in this case the wind, is just pushing it down again. So it's a struggle. But that way, doing it this way I should say, you're getting, you're getting the, the correct Now, let me stand back again. Yeah, you can see, you can see what I'm up, up to. This one I'll take down. A short ass guy here will take that down there. Um, this one we're going to take around there. We'll try and build a little crown up here. That one down there. And this one down there. Still trying to grow up, you see, these ones at the top before they get blasted down. So I think, oh, I've forgotten this chappy. Right, that wire is definitely not going to be tough enough. So I'm going to turn this round and put some more wire, a heavier wire on that. So I'll put that there. Take this around and around. Whoops. Get this in firmly anchored in. I need a piece to get in there. Get it in there. Right. Now that's well anchored. Get that in tight. Keep that in close tandem. This here. Mm. That's a bit of luck, wasn't it? Way. Okay. Now, is that going to be tough enough? Come back to the front again. And this is going to be bent, first of all, in a bit. Okay. And lift that. And bend this forward a bit. It'll probably snap. It's very brittle. Forward. Ah. 
And even though it's a back branch, ideally one should try and do it from the front so that you can relate it to the rest of the work that's been done. That is something that's actually quite important. It's got to come around, it just can't reach this little last one here. Up and down and around. And let's look at that in a bit. Up and down and around. Come back to the front to just check it's okay. Not too bad. And come up a bit more in there. Around there. I'll just take that little bit out of there. Oops, that's distorted that. Bring that up a little bit more. Up a little bit more. Bring this <coughs> in a wee bit more. Right. The reason. I'm looking at this from this angle, the tree from this angle, is to make sure that the flow is all going in that direction and not out. Okay, and that's that's not bad. Take that up just a wee bit more at this point. And bring it there. Come from the front. What's this here? What's going on here? Oh, it's knotted up there. Up there, shit. Let me just check this. Quite tricky. This one's not quite right. So I'll take that up, up, and down. And go down. Bring that in, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do I need all of this? Yes, I do. Do I need that one? That one's going out. So let's get rid of it. It can go. This one. So, so. Okie dokes. I think that's probably as much as I care to do in there. What I'm going to do now is get some of this horrible gunge here now. And just put it over these little cut areas. And it does facilitate the callousing over. I'm not quite sure how it works. It's a Japanese product. Look at it. It's like snot. Horrible. Yep. Right over, and it. Does, I don't know whether there's a chemical in it or, or what, but it it does really do the trick and help with the. Mm. Come on, come on. This wood up here is very very hard, um, so I'm not quite sure whether what I'm hoping to do is going to work. I just want to break some of it up just to reduce it. How about this? Will this do anything to it? Nope. So we just carry on down. I touched it. This is rather more difficult than I expected. I just want to disguise the chop.
don't want evidence of the chop. Well, that's a little bit better. What's it look like? Yeah, that's better. I'll leave it at that. It wasn't part of my brief earlier, but it's done. And uh, there you can see more or less what we've arrived at. It was challenging to say the least. I didn't for a moment think I was going to get away with this and, and make anything of it. As far as I know, it may well not come to anything eventually. But what we will be doing now, or as, as it grows, it'll be a, a pinch, a prune and, and, and clip exercise um, just to... maintain it in this film but it's essential that we keep this nice and light and airy and it's a chunky tree okay so it's going to need a chunky pot well i've got a chunky pot for it uh a, a, a former tokanami pot which are, but unfortunately it cracked in half well i've stuck it together again with some good old body filler which does the job very successfully but in this particular case doesn't look particularly attractive but for training purposes i'll plant the tree in that box but meanwhile i'm just going to leave it as it is i won't be putting it back in the pot that it came out of um, i'm just going to leave it like this in the garden and give it a really good watering so what we need to, what i need to do now is get the tree lifted onto the background, the clear background, so that we can take <clears throat> a still photograph of it and see how far we can get with that. Um, but as always, uh, if you've enjoyed this little exercise, which I'm sorry has taken so long, but as you can see, there's a heck of a lot there to do. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you could click the like button, the subscribe and the share, okay? And look, you make me a really happy boy.